Hey everybody, so I finished up the benders, the plastic benders that you guys have been seeing me, you know, work on the past couple weeks now. They're about to be shipped off to PPCs to hopefully get sold to some of you lovely folks out there. Uh, before I did that though, I just wanted to kind of do one final demonstration on how to use these just so you make, just so everybody is kind of clear on how they work. They're pretty simple tools, but I'll just do a quick demonstration here because I also added another feature that I will show you right now. So as you can see over here, we got like a block. Um, and this block is just a 90 degree angle guide. So it's pretty simple, just sits on two dowels there. So you, you don't have to have it on easily, easy to take off. Uh, you could even make your own other angle guides if you wanted to, you know, 45, you just need to extend that out. And then you have a 45 or 135, whichever way you want to look at it. But beyond that, I'll demonstrate it with the 90 block that I've made for it, just so you guys can see how that works. It just kind of slides on just like that and of course you put your plastic up against the guard over there and to hook one of these lovely fellows up all you got to do is take your leads from your PSU which are also being sold with the bender so that's where the whole like 90 to 100 dollar price range comes from but I just hook up one lead to the wire that's technically connected up to the other end there and then I take the other lead and I connect that to the actual nichrome wire just past the spring. So once you do that, you can just fire on your PSU. For the settings for mine, I use, I just max it out. These things are 30 volt, uh, 5 amp PSUs and it definitely works best when you just max it out. You're not going to break the wire. I haven't at least, um, if you happen to burn out your wire, it's like, it's, uh, 26 gauge nichrome wire we can even probably sell some in the store so beyond that though pretty simple to set up and use should take about a minute to two minutes to heat up three mil acrylic to bend um, just depends on how much your PSU is actually outputting this one's hitting 4.3 amps so which is plenty it, it just takes a little more time if you were to get like a 10 amp PSU and use thicker gauge nichrome wire it would definitely take less time but then you're going to be spending more on a PSU. So we're trying to keep it affordable for everybody. That's why I said like 90 to to $100 price range. Hopefully that's in the ballpark for, for some of you out there. It is a very useful tool. Like I said, simple and basic. But uh, if you want to bend plastic, you know, pretty easily and cleanly, I really don't know of a better way of going about it. You can use your heat guns, but that kind of has varying results unless you get some practice in. So overall, my personal opinion, I would definitely try to pick one of these up or obviously you can make them yourself as I've done. So once you think it's been long enough, you know, like I said, a minute to two minutes, um, you definitely want to switch off to PSU before you bend it. And then all you do is hold your plastic and bend away. So with the guide, you just go up to the guide and I would wait probably a good 30 seconds for the plastic to cool. Uh, I know you guys can't really see it right now. The camera angles aren't the best for this, but You'll see the bend here in just a second once it cools off. It doesn't take too long, but you definitely want to make sure you hold it, you know, tight up against it. You can also just like pound some nails or use some thumbtacks into the wood if you want uh, to hold it in place. Uh, obviously, you're going to eventually dent up all your wood and stuff and you maybe have to replace the board, but that is another way of going around uh, making sure all your bends are perfectly accurate. So it should be nice and cool now. And as you see, pretty much a 90 bend. Where's my square? I can double check for you guys. So as you see there, it's a pretty much perfect 90 degree bend. So pretty simple to use and effective in my opinion. Uh, you can bend any angle you want, obviously, and it'll bend three and five mil plastic pretty easily. Five mil just takes uh, significantly longer to heat up, but it'll do it. So it's a pretty versatile tool for bending plastic, and I hope you guys can pick one up and try one out yourself sometime. So other than that, guys, uh, I'll let you know when they get to the store and once we have them up for sale, and you're just going to have to check them out for yourselves. Hope you guys all have a great day, and enjoy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.